time. Hi, welcome Soko family. Welcome everybody. I forgot in previous videos, obviously, to mention Parlor, Discord, YouTube membership. I'll get onto that uh, in a slightly different video. But for now, again, um, I'm afraid it's, uh, it's Nigeria. So, Islamic State West Africa province, which is uh, colloquially known as ISWAP. You've heard me speak of them many times. Um, they've killed 20 Nigerian soldiers. So, um, Boko Haram's ISWAP faction has yet again killed more than a dozen soldiers of the Nigerian army and have overrun a military position. This is reported a couple of months ago. In the first of two separate attacks, fighters from the Islamic State Western African Province, or ISWAP, attacked and overran a military position in Magumeri on Tuesday, September the 1st. So that's not long ago at all. During this attack, the insurgents used truckloads with heavy machine guns to kill at least 10 soldiers who were located at the post. So obviously they're there um, as a form of protection. The second attack took place in Garin Giwa village in Kukawa, local government area of Borneo state. This attack was conducted as a patrol of Nigerian soldiers was driving along the road. The troops were then ambushed by the insurgents. Another 10 soldiers were killed in this attack, which took place on August uh, 12th. The terrorists were able to then steal several armoured uh, gun trucks from the troops that they had just attacked. And this means more weapons and ammunition uh, has made it into the hands of this terrorist group. It's just really sad reading. Um, another attack that took place. Um, yeah, I just, I, what I want to do is really just speak from the heart and say to you that, that these people have committed um, no crime. Soldiers assigned, they are obviously paid by a secular government, um, you know, in order to do whatever that government deems lawful and legal in terms of warfare and uh, military operations. In terms of Christianity, however, these people are soldiers. They're soldiers for Christ, as we all are. But I would say they've committed no earthly crime. They're not guilty of any, um, you know, they're, they're, it's not a war of uh, attribution or retribution. They, they, as Christians, I really do think that we have to be aware that the enemy is has his hand in many things. He, we are told in the Bible that he is the God, small g, of this system. The ability to inflame the hearts of men and cause enough hatred for you to remorselessly persecute anybody to the point of rape, um, being macheted, set on fire, hit in the head with um, fire extinguishers and, you know, just treated worse than an animal. And I don't mean to start off animal, you know, welfare people but they're treated like worse than, um, worse than even that. I would ask you please to pray for them. Uh, as I've said before, I, I literally uh, go to bed thinking about this and I wake up thinking about it and God has really placed it heavily upon my heart to speak to you. Oh. There's children, there are women, like all of those people are, are special and singled out of the world by Christ. All of them are equally important in God's sight as, you know, as only um, the love that God has for us is unfathomable, even though, thank goodness, we have the Bible to read about it and to like get into it. But he loves us more than we could ever love or imagine being loved. There's nothing actually that we can do, I believe, to make him love us any more. Like, and that's amazing. And also there's nothing we can do that will make him love us less. And I would really, really pray um, that your hearts are touched by the plight of Nigerian Christians who, who haven't done anything to deserve it. And like I said, are committing no crimes. Please do pray for them. Please, if you have time, look into this stuff. It's not a secret, although you won't see it on the BBC or in The Guardian or even in the Sun newspaper necessarily. Romans 8.28 is a real um, inspiration for subjects like this, all things work to the good of those who love God and are called according to his purpose. Jeremiah 29 says that, for I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, to bring you a future and a hope. Um, God is faithful to his promises. He is faithful in the love that he has for us, although heaven knows why, because um, we can be pretty detestable, but 
Yeah, there is no but. Please pray for these people. Look into how you can help. Just prayer hours alone would mean so much to them. But also any practicalities that you can facilitate, you know, just writing letters, emails, stuff of that, that nature. Look to International Christian Concern. Um, look to Open Doors. Um, you know, put some stuff in the comments if you're able to help. Like, you know, come on to Soko Discord. Uh, I promise it's not depressing on there. It's not just me banging on about persecution. We literally have a right laugh. And um, there's some lovely people there who are, would be happy to, to speak to you and to welcome you into the family. Okay, God bless you and keep you, and I will see you all next week. Bye-bye.